Hey, what's up, man? Gary Walker here with liveanabolic.com. All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you what you can do to fix your weak shoulders, okay? How to fix weak shoulders. Also, at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you a couple helpful tips, some things that you can implement with some other exercises that are gonna help offset some of that shoulder pain. All right, that being said, the first exercise I want to show you, hopefully you can see this one because this one is on the ground, but it's gonna be scapular push-ups. Basically what we're gonna do, let me explain it before I get down here and do it. Scapular push-ups, you're gonna be doing an elbow plank. From the elbow plank position like this, you're bringing your shoulder blades together, all right? Shoulder blades, you're gonna bring them together. I don't know if you can see that, probably not. Bring them together in the same position and then separate them, pressing your body up. You're not lifting, you're staying in your elbow plank position. So let's see, hopefully you can see me over here. Basically, I'm straight in an elbow plank position. And from here, I am sinking down by bringing my shoulder blades closer together and then pressing my body up by separating my shoulder blades. That's all I'm doing. Together, sink and press. These are scapular push-ups. We're trying to strengthen that scapula. So all of these are gonna help any lingering shoulder issues. Stretch, separate. All right, scapular push-up. Start with those. That's actually gonna help. The rest, you're gonna be using a resistance band, okay? So let me wrap this around here. Basically on the resistance band, you're gonna do internal and external rotations. So basically you'll see a little resistance here. You wanna keep your elbow pinned to your side and then you're gonna rotate externally. Allow it to come in, rotate externally. Here's the key when you're choosing a band here. You'll notice this is a thinner band. There's not a whole lot of resistance here. You don't need a lot of resistance. When you're working external rotations, internal rotations, you just need a little bit of resistance, okay? You don't need a whole lot. This shouldn't be extremely hard to where you're having to force this out. So keep that in mind with it, with it being pinned to your side and rotate out, back in, out, back in. Instead of turning, I'm gonna stay to the front so you can see my internal rotations. Same thing, just opposite movement. We're rotating internally. The shoulder is coming internally. So pinned here and bring across your body, back out. Bring across your body, back out. Internal rotations, all right? Internal and external when you're going this direction. External, back in, external. And you're gonna do the same thing on both sides. I just didn't wanna turn around because turning around here and I'm doing my internal. You just really can't see what I'm doing by doing that. But also shoot 15 to 20 reps. Again, this is going to be a light weight. You're not doing anything heavy. All you're trying to do is get some mobility and some strength back in the shoulders. But the last one I want to show you is a banded face pull. Banded face pull, you've probably done cable face pulls before. The key here is you wanna drive back, and again, you're working that scapula when you get to the back. All right, keep these wide. I like to keep my elbows out, and then right around your nose and back. Nose, back. Really focus on squeezing those shoulder blades together, the scapula back there. Bring it nice and slow, back. Just like that, banded face pull. Another variation is a banded face pull with external rotation. You're doing it from a different angle here. So basically, I'm gonna come in a little bit to show you the external rotation. You're gonna do your normal face pull and then you're externally rotating. So if you do this, the band obviously needs to be higher so you're not hitting yourself in the face. So you're gonna bring it up and then externally rotate. Out as a normal face pull, externally rotate, back and then in, okay? That's also gonna help, help you strengthen those shoulders. So 
the scapula push-ups, the banded external rotations, banded internal rotations, and the banded face pull. If you wanna add the dual movement banded face pull with external rotation. All right, I promised you a tip. Here's the tip I'm going to give you. If you're working shoulders, overhead shoulder press, dumbbell shoulder press, standing shoulder press, anything like that. If you're doing a standing shoulder press, I'm gonna recommend you do it with either a landmine or a dumbbell. Stay away from barbell pressing, okay? Especially if, if you have any lingering shoulder issues. Here's the thing with shoulder presses. I also wanna add back work. Let's go that route. Any type of back work, any type of shoulder work. If you're doing any of that type of work, even chest work for that matter, then take your grip here and rotate your palms to each other. That's, an, that's a, a neutral grip. Neutral grip is going to help. When you rotate, you're externally rotating the humerus inside that shoulder and it's creating more space. So if you're working shoulders and you got a pronated grip, meaning palms forward, then you're gonna actually create some tension in that shoulder capsule. By rotating and getting into a neutral grip position, you're again rotating the humerus, which is creating more room in the shoulder capsule. So that's going to help. That's why if you have any shoulder issues, I always recommend doing away with the barbell press, okay, overhead barbell press, and doing a overhead dumbbell press with a neutral grip or a landmine press. Same thing, you've got a barbell into a landmine fixed position and you automatically have a neutral grip and you're pressing unilaterally, meaning one side at a time. You'll do one side, alternate, do the other side. You can do it kneeling or standing. But I love lateral presses overhead and dumbbell presses overhead. So also back work. If you're doing standard lat pull down with your arms or your hands, palms facing forward, again, a lot of stress on those shoulders. By externally rotating, that's gonna open up the shoulder capsules. So externally rotate when you're working back. Same with the dumbbell rows. Stay away from the barbell rows that keep you in that fixed position. Go with a dumbbell row, dumbbell back row. So those are going to help give you more space in the shoulder capsule. You can still go heavy when you do those, but it's gonna take a lot of stress off of your shoulder joints, which is going to add to the longevity of your workout career. Because obviously you need to be working out the rest of your life, man. That's the goal when I train people. It's don't do this for a photo shoot. Don't do it for a vacation. Do it for health, longevity, and quality of life. I hope you do this forever. You don't always have to go extremely intense, but work your body, work your muscles. That's gonna help with your longevity and again, the quality of your life, but do it without damaging your joints. Because the last thing you need to do is go old school, tons of barbell stuff, damage your shoulders, damage your back, damage your knees, damage your hips, and then feel old. Because at the end of the day, I want you to feel younger. I don't even want you to feel your age, man. If you're 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, I want you to feel younger. Always feel younger. If you're doing this right, you're gonna feel younger. That's the goal at the end of the day. Never feel your age. If you're feeling your age, if you're struggling to get out of bed because your joints are hurting, then try my Tricon sets. Try to use the neutral grip when you're working shoulders, when you're working back, when you're doing any kind of movement that's involving the shoulder joints, which is most upper body movements. And again, one last thing, even chest, like I said, barbell bench press, hard on your shoulders, especially if you have shoulder issues. So rotate, go neutral, and you're still gonna get great benefits in your pecs and eliminate a lot of the stress on your shoulders. But all right, man, that's all I have for this video. Put all this stuff to use and do this part, do this as part of a prehab routine. So just, if you're gonna work shoulders, you're gonna work chest, you've got some stuff like that going on, a workout coming up, then do some of these exercises. It doesn't take long, 15 reps, two to three sets of each of these. If you have a lot of shoulder issues, then maybe stick to about 20 reps, even lighter 20 reps and do three sets. But once you start getting healthy shoulders again, you don't have to do it as much, but just do it a couple times a week. Like I said, it's part of a prehab routine. But other than that, man, if you got any questions, comment below, let me know. Share this video. 
and give me a thumbs up, man, if you like it. That way I know you like this type of video. I can do more videos like it because as an older man, I know you gotta have some kind of lingering issues. I've got them, tons of men I've trained have them. You just have to do things differently to prevent them from getting worse. So that's the goal. If you've got knee issues, hip issues, back issues, there's a lot of things you can do similar to this to offset some of those, all right? To allow your body to heal and recover. But other than that, man, that's all I got. Get busy, get after it, and God bless.